Between Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Captain America Civil War, and cable reruns of Kramer vs. Kramer, it can be awfully taxing to see all of our heroes fighting each other all the time. So, today on the Dan Cave, we're gonna take a break from the bat insanity of superhero movies to explore the bat insanity of anime with your guide to the best new anime of spring 2016. Joker Game. Do you want the D? Well, Joker Game's gonna give you the D. Specifically, the D Agency, an elite Japanese army intelligence outfit operating at the outset of World War II. Now, this Black Ops outfit isn't like one you'd expect. It goes against military doctrine with their three rules. Don't kill, don't get killed, and don't get captured. I guess maybe just the first rule is out of line. The rest seem like pretty standard operating protocol. I don't know, I'm not a spy. Guys, I gotta be honest, this is so far up my alley, it's not even funny. I really, really like World War II espionage stories. I'm like your grandfather, but without the racism. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy that sweet, sweet D. Agency. Bakuon. Guys, look, Sons of Anarchy is come and gone. But good news, there's a new motorcycle gang in town, the Ladies of Bakuon. Instead of vest-wearing, gun-running murder monsters, these ladies are high school girls with a need for speed. You know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe one of them will be voiced by Ron Perlman. You don't know, I don't know either. Either way, I'm amped. Rain, 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 rain. That's the sound a motorcycle makes. Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn RE0096. Yikes, that is a mouthful. <laughs> I know, I know, another Gundam anime, but hey, another Gundam anime. Guys, this one is a brand new version of the 2010 Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn OVA that was based on the Haruto Shifukui novel set in the Universal Century timeline, which is pretty exciting if that's your bag. Anyway, this story follows a boy living in a manufacturing colony named Banagher Lynx. What? Banagher? Ban God, anime names are so stupid, I love it. Banagher Lynx, whose home becomes the scene of a massive battle. But during the battle, he discovers a mysterious mobile suit that could be the answer to a nearly 100-year-old curse arising from the previous war. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, when I was a boy living in a manufacturing colony, all I discovered was how to smelt iron ore. Where's my story? Magi Sinbad no Bolken, AKA Magi Sinbad's Adventure. Now, this prequel to Magi takes place some 30 years before the main series and chronicles Sinbad's journey to become the king of stand-up comedy. <laughs> Not really, but can you imagine? That'd be nuts. Anyway, this one just becomes the king of Sindria, which is still, as Onyx would say, pretty cool. Notice me, Sindria, notice me. Tonkatsu DJ Agetaro. At first, I included this anime because of its preposterous name, Tonkatsu DJ Agetaro. But after watching the trailer, I'm genuinely excited. It follows a dumb but honest dude who works at his family's tonkatsu restaurant, which in case you don't know, is a delicious deep fried breaded pork cutlet that is a staple of Japanese cuisine. Also, he wants to be a club DJ. Who doesn't? And if you can find a better combination than delicious fried meat and hip hop, then I don't want to hear it. Seriously, that Lovecraftian knowledge wasn't meant for the likes of man. Don't tell me. Aggressive Retsuko. Finally, someone made an anime about Rachel Hine. Aggressive Retsuko follows a 25-year-old red panda named Retsuko, who works in the accounting department of the company of her dreams, except, thanks to her shitty co-workers and impossible workload, her dreams turn to nightmares. But Retsuko doesn't snap at her dumbass co-workers, no. She does what any one of us would do. She goes to karaoke by herself and sings death metal. An adorable red panda singing death metal. Need I say more? Flying Witch. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. This is the anime about Rachel Hine. Filling the Sabrina and Kiki-shaped hole in our hearts is Makoto Kawata, a teen witch for a new generation. The 15-year-old spellcaster leaves her home outside Tokyo with her black cat Chito to go live and train with her relatives in Aomori. Plus, the trailer is so chilled out, it lowered my blood pressure by 45%. Thanks, Flying Witch. Now I'm gonna live for an additional one to three weeks. Probably one. Attack on Titan Season 2. Oh, uh, I, I was hoping you guys knew when this one was. Well, I uh, guess I'll just go play Half-Life 3 while I wait. Kotetsujo no Kabaneri, aka Kabaneri of the Iron Fortress. Now this anime should actually fill the Attack on Titan sized void in your life. 
In a world in the midst of an industrial revolution, massive monsters called Kabane appear, who cannot be defeated unless their heart is pierced. And unfortunately, it's protected by a layer of steel. You know, that old chestnut. That old steel-covered chestnut. Anyway, humanity hides from these zombie-like creatures in gigantic fortresses, and the only way to travel between said fortresses is through an armored train. So basically, this is like steampunk Snowpiercer meets Attack on Titan. And if that means we get anime Tilda Swinton, then hell f***ing yeah. But what do you guys think? This is obviously just a fraction of the awesome anime coming out this spring. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments below. And while you're there, give me the best thumbs up of this Vernal Equinox. Actually, it already passed. Just give me a thumbs up. That's all for today's show. Tune in next time for the story of a master criminal and an obsessive police officer who travel the world eating pasta, getting in touch with their true selves, and reigniting their lust for life in Heat, Pray, Love. Until next time, keep on digging. Let's open up the old mailbag, shall we? At Bowtie Cory asks, what is your favorite dish with avocados in it? Oh, great question. Lately, I'd say a poke bowl with ahi tuna and just like heaps of avocado, but I gotta be real. The carne asada fries with avocado on them from the El Flame and Taco Truck in Echo Park. A plus late night food. At Blue Lantern 18 asked, who do you want to direct a live action Gundam movie if it were ever to happen? <laughs> Michael Bay! Just kidding, I'd actually like to see John Wick's directors, Chad Stileski and David Leach, take a stab at it. John Wick was just like, it felt like a weird revenge anime brought to life, and I think they could really kill it with a bigger project like Gundam. Can you imagine a big ass Gundam, and then like it accidentally kills a little baby dog? Oh, I'll be so sad, I don't know what I'd do, I'm losing my mind! At Nick Moxham asks, what is the original movie you're most excited for in the near future? Well, it was the first person action mayhem of Hardcore Henry, but I've already seen it, and it's great. So let's go with Green Room, an awesome new movie starring Patrick Stewart as a neo-Nazi. Do I need to say any more? Hopefully, just go see it. Anyway, let me know your most anticipated new films below, and I'll see you guys next time.